Hello everyone, I'm recording this video on January 27, 2023 and right now I'm here at JFK Airport Terminal 4. Uh, this is basically the arrival for Terminal 4 and in this video I will show you how you can go to Manhattan, especially Midtown Manhattan, uh, from JFK Airport using Air Train and Long Island Railroad. Uh, as you all know that the new Grand Central Medicine uh, terminal open a few days ago in New York City so basically uh, the Grand Central Medicine is another terminal uh, for Long Island Railroad before you guys had to go to Penn Station uh, if you are using Long Island Railroad uh, from Shutfin Boulevard Archer Avenue but now you can go to Grand Central uh, using the Long Island Railroad and that's the purpose for this video and I will demonstrate how you can go there uh, and save some money because whenever you are visiting any country the main thing is uh, always how you can go to your destination from the airport um, the most efficient way and also this way you can save a lot of money uh, and I hope you will enjoy it and this is basically the taxi stand if you need taxi uh, you can get it from here but you can see the price if you want to get a taxi from JFK um, if you are here coming with a family, you, if you had a lot, lot of baggage, then I think taxi and lift will be or Uber will be more convenient way to go to your destination. But if you are a slow traveler or maybe people love to uh, or a group of people who love to explore, then you can definitely um, follow my route and it will be cost you less than a $20. So stay tuned and uh, watch the whole video and i hope it would be very very helpful for you and also feel free to share this video with your friends and family members so now i'm heading toward uh air train i'm just following the sign it's saying air train you can take your sim card and stuff like that from here You can see this is the air train platform. So right now I'm heading toward uh, Jamaica, Shatkin Boulevard uh, train station. From there you can either take a subway or a Long Island Railroad uh, which I will demonstrate in this video. So this is basically the air train terminal. quite busy today so let me see when is my next train so there is two line one is a uh, Howard Beach and another is uh, Jamaica so you should take Jamaica uh, the orange line as you can see this green line is going to Howard Beach station but we are not going to Howard Beach we are going to Jamaica right here three minutes uh, our air train we'll get out at Jamaica as you can see subway EJG and Long Island Railroad but I think uh, Long Island Railroad for me is the most uh, convenient way uh, so let's see three minutes it's quite fast people are waiting here I had another video I will put in the link in my video description box so that's basically will demonstrate how you can go to Penn Station using the Long Island Railroad but as, as I said in this video I will show you how you can go to Grand Central Medicine the brand new terminal uh, so it would be much more easy for you to go to the east side of Manhattan.
Okay, here we go. Let's uh, board in. We are board in to the air train, as you can see. And here is all the terminal uh, information, which airline you will get in a different terminal. Please stand clear. The doors are closing. Please hold on. I had to switch my card because I'm on the last card. So next stop on Federal Circle, I'll try to move on the first card. But it's all right. I don't mind to be here, as you can see. All the planes are here. This is basically Singapore Airlines. And this is a TWA Hotel. We are arriving at Terminal 5. Stop. So it will basically stop every terminal. Uh, and this is Terminal 5. I can see the Alaska Airlines right over there. Did you see? Uh, this is the line for taxi, like they are going to the taxi stand for different terminal. And I will try to make this video as raw as possible, so you will see what to expect uh, and what to see. So as I said, this is basically a uh, terminal 5. board in the air train as I said you do not need to pay anything but once you get out from the airport you need a metro card which I will show how to buy and after that you had to pay eight dollar Try to go to the font card. This is terminal seven. This. Let's run, run. I can't meet all the way, but maybe the next terminal uh, I'll try to be on the first one. This is the second one, basically. It's a hassle. see the Manhattan skyline right there let me zoom it's way too far now this is the Jamaica train stopping at airline terminal A federal circle for hotel shuttle rental cars and free book parking and Jamaica with connections to the LIRR E J and Z train service our next stop will be terminal A with free bus connection to terminal 1 
your belongings. Okay, another attempt uh, to go to the font one. Excuse me. I think I will meet it this time. I should. Okay. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay, here we go. So this is Federal Circle and the next stop will be Jamaica uh, where we'll get out and uh, I'll show you how you can buy a metro card and how uh, you can pay the fare uh, for this air train ride.
So here we are. This is basically the last stop, Jamaica. And seems like it's snowing outside, but it's not much. Now let's go and buy a metro card and I will show you how you can basically pay the fare. Eight dollar, as I said, it increased uh, when I record the video last year. I guess it was uh, something like seven dollar and seventy five cents. Now, as you can see, uh, the air train exit fare is eight dollar, and you will need another two dollar and seventy five cents if you are taking subway like E, J, or G. So, total basically, you had to refill. Uh, somewhere like ten dollar and seventy five cents I hope I will get some empty slot so I could show you how you can buy a metro card so this is all the all the machine uh, you can buy your fare so let me show you how you can use one of these machine uh, to get a metro card since I already had I uh, will not buy one I'll just demonstrate you so you just have to press start and then you can choose different language let's say English and then metro card remember uh, if you want to get uh, another metro card I think I choose a different language English I choose Spanish. so if you need you definitely need this one new metro card if you don't have a metro card but if you had a metro card you can refill but you had to press get a new metro card and then air train ride and air train ride pro subway or different uh, unlimited metro card let's say this one and then you can use any of this option and let's say credit card and then you have to pay and your card will be here so this is how uh, you will buy it. oh my gosh look at the crowd already seems like it's so busy it's, a, it's so crowd as you can see look at that so get ready for that sometimes it might be too busy and as I said since I already had a metro card uh, it's right there so I'll show you how you can exit I had to basically uh, Go here and just oh okay oh you do not need to pay anything so for some reason they are opening the gate but you can just uh, put your metro card uh, just like just like that and uh, it's not opening it's free for all and it's free for all in both direction today uh, for some reason but you just had to insert your metro card right there and it would be charged you eight dollar after that um, you had several options like long island railroad and subway ej and g so if you want to take subway you ne definitely need to take one of this you, if you want to go to midtown manhattan uh, or downtown manhattan i think e is the best route you can take this subway i will make another video for that but I will take Long Island Railroad so I will follow this sign and now I had to buy a different ticket I had to buy a ticket for Long Island Railroad and I will show you how you can buy it so as I say today I'm not going to Penn Station I'm going to Grand Central Medicine the 11.6 billion dollar terminal open underneath of existing Grand Central uh, in Manhattan it will be much closer for you to go to Times Square because most of the most of the people, I think, uh, get their hotel uh, in that area. As you can see, all the timing here, but I need to buy a ticket using one of the machine right up there. And let's see how much it costs because I will show you a hack. Okay, here we go. So this is basically uh, the machine. We just had to press 
and then see this is several option since I'm just doing one way so I'm please uh, clicking one way and here Jamaica to Penn Station and Jamaica to another station let's say Jamaica to another station and I had to go Grand Central so uh, right here Grand Central and now there is peak off peak senior disabled city ticket and other stuff and these are the timing for all of the ticket but I need city tickets They're trying to buy a ticket they gotta buy tickets. yeah I will buy a ticket too sir I just need a one ticket and it's five dollar because it's city ticket so press to continue uh, I do not need metro card just a ticket and I will pay credit card everything and now I just insert the credit card and then it's a tap and go system for some reason it's not working let's uh, Okay, it's processing saying please wait. Approve. All right. Uh, my train uh, ticket will be right here now. I don't need a receipt. Uh, my ticket will be here soon. So this is my ticket uh, to Grand Central Medicine. And let's see what is saying. As you can see it cost me five dollar because i choose city ticket whenever you are uh, traveling inside the city you have to pay the city fare and uh, it just uh, basically uh, five dollar to grand central from here and that's it now i had to look for uh, which terminal basically i had to go for grand central as you can see uh, for Grand Central, I had to go terminal terminal five uh, around like 115 my uh, train. So let's go to terminal five. This is terminal four, and this is terminal five. Right here is my uh, train is waiting for me. As you can see, it's very easy. So so far I spent eight dollar and five, so thirteen dollar. The next train uh, will be uh, in 13 minutes. So this is going to Grand Central. I'm trying to go to the uh, font. I mean, let's go. go one of these, either of these. Uh, Let's go here, I guess. As you can see, it's neat and clean. And you had luggage space right here. I mean, this is for disabilities, but they do have a luggage space. And uh, hello, they also had restroom. So this is the good thing about uh, Long Island Railroad because you had a uh, lot of space. Uh, as you can see, restroom, everything. That's why I say that uh, travel, uh, to Long Island Railroad as you can see luggage space everything everything at the top so where do I sit I think I will try to sit on the other one I just uh, want to show you guys how it looks like okay here we go I will sit here Okay, so let me see what time is right now. So right now it's uh, 103, so 10 more minutes. And we'll be off to uh, Grand Central Medicine. And as I said, I will end this video on Times Square. So I'll show you how we can exit from that terminal and stuff like that as well.
make sure you have your ticket ready because there will be a ticket checker uh, they will check the ticket and then you are good to go and since uh, the Grand Central Terminal opened a few days ago first couple of weeks it would be express from Jamaica to Grand Central which is basically a 20 minute ride and after that it would be stop like would have in an other stop as well that's what I think so but we will see As you can see that Long Island Railroad is way better than uh, the subway in the subway you will barely get a chance to sit uh, and it would be horrible if you need to use a restroom uh, but here inside the train you had that opportunity and it's much more comfortable ride but definitely the uh, price is uh, twice than uh, the subway but you will get the service And so far, uh, it is basically 34 minutes from JFK. Uh, Good afternoon, 115 off peak train to Grand Central Station. Just trying to make one stop, Grand Central only. Yes. 115 express train to Grand Central Madison. As I say, that first couple of weeks, it would be express to Grand Central uh, uh, Medicine. So depending on what time you are arriving, your train time might be delayed. Uh, but we just had to follow the same way I did and you will have a very uh, comfortable ride in a very affordable fare. And uh, once the train uh, will start, uh, it will be take not more than 20 minutes to Grand Central Medicine. And as I said, save your ticket. I mean, this one and also the metro card do not throw the metro card because uh, you will need that metro card uh, when it when you are in new york city basically if you are planning to take any subway bus you will need uh, that yellow metro card not this one this is just a ticket for long island railroad um, but i mean this metro card you will need it and once you are getting out of new york city you can take it with you as a souvenir that's what i always say to my audience or my people just take it as a souvenir like a memory but do not throw it because then you had to buy a new one and you had to spend extra one dollar so actually we already spent uh, fourteen dollar eight dollar for uh, the air train fee and one dollar for new metro card nine and then five dollar for um, this long island railroad and this is uh, jamaica long island railroad uh, station And I will have another video as well how we can basically uh, go to JFK from Manhattan more precisely from Times Square so definitely check that video as well and there is also another video how you can go to Penn Station uh, from JFK using same the Long Island Railroad the reason I am promoting Long Island Railroad a lot because it's as I said the most comfortable right you will have and since the new terminal Grand Central Medicine is open it would be way more easy for you guys to go to Midtown Manhattan especially the east side and especially the Times Square that area 
because for many of you if you are taking Penn Station train then you have to take the one train now the subway it's one number one train subway train and that's uh, not that convenient sometimes or you might have to walk or you might have to take taxi from Penn Station but now I think it would be max uh, five five minutes of walk from Grand Center to 42nd Street so time is 110 and five more minutes uh, and we'll be on our way to Grand Central Medicine. I already had a full video of the brand new Grand Central Medicine. Uh, I was taking the first ride uh, and it was a great experience. Uh, if you haven't watched it, definitely watch that video as well. And sometimes the Penn Station uh, train uh, might be busy, crowded, depending on the time when you are arriving in New York City. Right there, you can see this uh, this place right here. It's basically the waiting area. Uh, you can go inside and you can uh, sit if it's too cold outside. Right here as well as you can see the waiting room. Uh, so all the comfort you will get. this is kind of a raw video like it's not edited at all I'm keeping this video as it is so <laughs> you can expect everything I showed you good afternoon passengers the 115 express train to Grand Central Madison this train will make one stop Grand Central only express train to Grand Central And you can also buy a Long Island Railroad ticket uh, using the apps I'm showing right now on this screen. It's even more easy uh, to just uh, buy it using the apps. Uh, 
so that way you can save more time but most case I mean for those who are watching this video you had to buy the actual ticket the way I bought right now let me check it so right now it's uh, 1 14 so one more minute as you can see uh, 1 14 15 and the trend should be on the way to Grand Central anytime soon So I can hear the sound of door closing. Here we go. So they kind of uh, maintain the timing as well on our way to Grand Central Medicine from JFK Grand Central is next and final stop Grand Central Express train uh, please activate your ticket tonight your ticket is ready Grand Central next 115 off peak train see uh, there will be a ticket checker uh, if you bought the ticket in online they will scan that if you haven't, then you have to show your uh, actual ticket. Otherwise, you might have a fine. is a van with expressway if you are taking over a taxis most probably they will take this highway I mean uh, expressway
Hi, sir. Thank you. So we have to just uh, give the ticket to the ticket checker. Uh, for the Long Island Railroad ticket, we have to just hand over it to the man.
so now we are going under the tunnel uh, this is basically a brand new tunnel to uh, Grand Central Medicine it's almost I think 12.5 mile long tunnel
afternoon, passengers. We will arrive in Grand Central Madison momentarily. We'll have it on track 303 this afternoon. When exit here in Grand Central, please look around and make sure all your personal belongings. And please watch your step when exit the train in the gap between platform and train. This is Grand Central Madison Station. Last stop. Have a good day. So officially we made it uh, to the Grand Central Medicine. It's time to get out and show you how we can uh, exit from this uh, terminal. As I said, uh, this is 11.6 billion dollar terminal. Uh, it has uh, improved uh, train track, uh, timing schedule, stuff like that. Okay, here we are on Manhattan. Uh, right here, there are several exits. So if you take this exit, it will lead you to uh, Madison Concourse Street, Metronaut or Subway. So let's take it. But there are several of them basically several of exit or you can walk but this is just a demo because this brand new terminal had the longest escalator in new york city which will take you one minute and almost 40 seconds from top to bottom or bottom to top so imagine if it's uh, basically uh, not working what will happen to you you had to like uh, walk all the way but they had a elevator as well and these are some marble uh, marble hey how are you doing marble uh, tiles look at that and I had a full video up in my channel and you'll see also this kind of mosaic artworks by Kiki Smith also they had a artwork uh, for Kusama so let's take this scalator so the grand central medicine is basically between uh, 43rd to 48 under Madison avenue the existing grand central terminal but it's almost 17 story beneath uh, beneath uh, the street 17 uh, stories beneath there is another escalator that one even bigger but it's same height pretty much look at this it's basically one of the uh, longest escalator in New York City as I said if you want to see the more in-depth video uh, then check out my video description box I did the tour on the opening day and I did the train ride from Jamaica to here But you do not have to like uh, basically wet you can just walk but as you can see it's way too deep oh my gosh it will be like uh, a horrible situation if there is any situation that none of this escalator is working but i hope uh, that will be never happen always at least uh, one skeleton will be working because there are uh, this side two to go up and two to go down but on the other side they had I think three by three so either way you will get a chance to take the escalator so no worries about that but look at this the depth of the station this guy right here look very tiny so around like one hour you can come to Manhattan Grand Central using Long Island Railroad which is a great deal just uh, $14 and as I said this is the longest Kusama art the huge one let me show you before I exit from the station let me show you this uh, huge Kusama art this Kusama art is huge literally look at this
So above this terminal, there is a station for Metro North. So if anyone need to take Metro North, you can take Metro North. And after that, there is a place if you need to take subway, you can take the subway as well. But right now we are getting out and we are on our way to Times Square. So you just had to follow the sign where it say main concourse metro north subway you had to just follow this sign uh, once you will go up using this longest escalator you had to just follow the sign uh, to main concourse metro north or subway as you can see uh, nypd officers are active here as well so pretty nice uh, terminal and it looks like it is an expensive uh, terminal everywhere you are seeing marble tiles and stuff like that and there are so many retail space which uh, will be full i think momentarily still you will not see any retail shop so this is a uh, 45th street here is another escalator same height uh, right here See, I'm just following the sign to main conquers. Everyone is amazed to see the beauty. See, it's several escalator. So I hope there will be no situation that he will stuck. And from 428 it would be peak hour, so the ticket price will be higher. As I show you the peak timing in the screen right now and off peak timing and also you had always option to buy a city ticket which is basically five dollar if you are just planning to be inside the city then you had to choose i mean you can choose city ticket see uh, i'm just following the main concourse sign and here is another huge art by kiki smith right here Since it's uh, 17 stories uh, beneath the street level, that's why it's taking some time to exit from the terminal. That's the only issue. But in Penn Station, it's way too easy to get out. But as I say, this is more convenient for people who are basically want to come to the east side of um, Manhattan, so uh, you had both options, Penn Station or Grand Central Medicine. Whatever you think you will do, you can do so. See, to Grand Central Main Concourse, I'm just following the sign. So this is literally underneath of the existing Grand Central Terminal. Once we will uh, take this escalator, we'll be on the main concourse. So I can already smell some food because in the main concourse, oh my gosh, there are so many restaurants, literally. And you can see this is the clock tower right there so right here it's saying Long Island Railroad I mean Medicine Concourse but you will see also it's written a uh, Long Island Railroad this is the main concourse if you need to take Metro North you already know about this main concourse and you just had to take the stairs to up and that would be that clock tower or the information booth right here look 
This is the grand center. I do not need to get out anywhere. This is what you all be familiar with, at least I know. And see, you have to just follow the sign, Wrong Island Railroad, if you want to uh, take train from Grand Central Medicine. But here we are. Um, right here is the Grand Central. And now uh, I'm exiting from here and on my way to Times Square. More precisely, 42nd and 7th Avenue. So you will get an idea. And if you need to take any train, you can do so. You can take it from here. The train, train station is inside as well. We just have to follow the sign where it's saying subway. But most of the people, I'm pretty sure, are having their hotel uh, in this area, surrounding areas. Oh, look at that. Officially, we made into Manhattan. So this is 42nd Street. Up there is Bryant Park. I'm heading to that direction. And I think this route is more familiar to the people and easily uh, navigatable. This is taxi stand. If anyone I need to take taxi, you can do so from here. And since it's inside the city, the taxi fare will be not that much compared to taking a taxi from JFK to Manhattan. So if you think this video is a bit helpful for you, definitely uh, consider subscribe and hit that like button as well and share of course share this video with your, with your friends and family members and if you need to take like what it's called if you need to take a uh, train again and go to the JFK you can do so it's just the same opposite way. But I had already a separate video. I'll put that link in my description box. This is uh, 42nd at Madison Avenue. Let's cross the street. Uh, you can even take uh, the train if you want, 7 train or whatever train is available on the medicine, uh, Grand Central Medicine. You can take to Times Square, but as you can see, walking is not that far. This is the public library.
but as I said, if you had a lot of baggage, kids, then definitely taxi and Uber will be the most convenient way for you to travel. But if you're alone or a people of two, then I think you should definitely like take Long Island Railroad or Subway. But I, sh I will say that take a Long Island Railroad. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. Shoe polish. Nowadays, it's very rare to find this kind of place in New York. Very vintage. And they are rarely open their store. Most of the time I seen their clothes. This is uh, Bryan Park and we can already see the 7th Avenue and 42nd Street intersection from here. It's so easy uh, to navigate basically. But as I say, the only thing it's too deep to exit from the terminal it will take you probably five minutes or maybe in a rare case 10 minutes uh, but mostly max five Sometimes it's uh, cloudy, sometimes it's sunny, very weird weather. We're just one block away from our destination. So this is 6th Avenue and 42nd Street intersection. Here we go.
what's going on here. A very long line outside of Verizon stop, store. A long line, as you can see. As you can see some cameras as well. Maybe some sort of cell going on. Who knows? Anyway. I hope everything all right. So guys, uh, here we are at the corner of 7th Avenue and 42nd Street. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If so, then before you leave, kindly hit that like button for me and also feel free to let me know uh, how was this ride, is it uh, convenient for you or not. And as you can see, here I am on the 42nd Street. This is the most easiest way for me to go, come to Manhattan from JFK and that's it. I will see you guys in another video. Till then, stay safe and stay positive. Bye-bye.